हेलो गाइस इन लास्ट क्लास वी डिड द सीरीज एंड पैरेलल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ रजिस्टर राइट सो इफ दिस इज द सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ रजिस्टर दिस वॉज पैरेलल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ रजिस्टर राइट सो मूविंग ऑन टू नेक्स्ट टॉपिक हाउ सेल्स आर कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज एंड पैरेलल वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सेल्स दैट सेल्स प्रोवाइड ई एम एफ राइट बट बिफोर आई टेक यू टू द सीरीज एंड पैरेलल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ सेल्स लेट मी गिव यू सर्किट डायग्राम एंड एक्सप्लेन हाउ ई एम एफ डिफरेंट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस सी दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल डायग्राम वेरी सिंपल वन दिस इज अ सेल connected to this register right let us say this is r ohms this is emf e now if if this emf is of 3 volts this resistance will not be getting 3 volts it will be getting either 2.8 or 2.9 volt so where is that point 1 or point 2 volts going the point 1 and point 2 volt going is actually getting consumed by the internal resistance of this cell so to eliminate this thing and to make a relation between potential difference and emf right now there must be some current i which is flowing through this resistor right so the voltage which this resistor is getting is according to ohms law v equals to whatever current is flowing through the resistor into the value of resistor so this is the potential difference across this resistor or potential drop across this resistor right so v equals to ir I I can redraw the same circuit like this. I am taking the internal resistance in series with the cell. So basically, what I have done from here, I have just removed the internal resistance and I have showed it somewhere else in the circuit, right? This is still V. This is R. Now consider this. Let I be the value of current, same which is flowing in this circuit. So. the total voltage what is the total voltage which is provided by this circuit is e will be equal to total current into total resistance what is total current i what is total resistance this r and this r is right now in series so e is equal to i r plus i small r this e is equal to this is v right the potential drop across cell plus i into r this gives me a statement that i into small r is equal to e minus v or small resistance that is internal resistance of the cell would be e minus v upon i right this is simple now following the same order if i do this diagram consider this i have two cells in series both have the emf e and internal resistance r so what will be the total emf which is provided by these two cells all together if this is 3 volt this is 3 volt they are together providing an emf of 6 volts all right so right now here this will be twice of e so what if there are n times cell n cells which are in series combination i'll just explain you what uh, do you we guys have already discussed about the series and parallel combination of resistance and we have seen that in series combination what what physical factor remains constant in series combination current remains constant and in parallel combination yes the voltage remains constant right so i'll draw two circuits simultaneously i have this cell and i have so many of these cells let us say n number of cells okay and i have connected them all in series across this external resistor r each cell has this rating e comma r that means emf is e and internal resistance is r the whole combination is connected to an external resistance r this will be the flow of current the direction of flow of current right look another circuit i have this a cell of rating e comma r and i have another cell 
I have another cell and similarly I have so many cells that means I have n cells right now each connected to this and externally connected to the external resistance R. I have to find out the value of current in both the cases all right what and how do we find the current we know a universal formula of Ohm's law which is E v equals to IR right first let's sort it out this one I had just explained you if two cells are connected that means the EMF will be net EMF will be twice of E three are connected three thighs of E there are n cells in series right now n cells so what will be the net EMF n times E all right now just relate two things and you'll get the answer total voltage provided by the cells the combination of cell or the circuit is n times E what is the total current flowing in the circuit I what is the total resistance of the circuit this R and internal resistance of each cell are connected in series okay consider this diagram like this small r small r small r dash 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 n times small r then then capital R so what is the net resistance of this circuit all these small resistance and the capital resistance are connected in series because that is the rule of series they are all in the single line even if they are making a loop but they are still in a straight line single line that makes them in series and in series the formula is we just need to add each and every register so here the total resistance of the circuit is r plus what n times small r so this is the total resistance so what would be the final answer total voltage provided is total current into total resistance so the formula for current would straight away would be n e over r plus n times r right that is simple what will i do in this case i have the rating e comma r each cell has this rating e comma r this is external resistance r and the current which is flowing again is i and i want to figure out what is the total current like we did in this circuit what is the total current here go with the same method you'll get the answer find out the total voltage find out the total resistance find out the total current you'll get the answer you just have to relate them first of all what is the total voltage in parallel voltage remains same so even if n times e cells are connected in parallel the net voltage would be still e so this is the total voltage applied in the circuit now what is the total current flowing i which we just mentioned what is the total resistance of the circuit all these resistors the small internal resistors of the cell which is small r are like this right so if i have three resistors three small r how would i add them they are in parallel that means one upon r parallel would be one upon r plus one upon r plus one upon r that means three upon r that means r parallel would be equal to r upon three a basic definition or basic way of doing or finding out resistors in parallel is this just divide the number of resistors connected in parallel only if they are same divided by what value take resistors or they take the value of one resistor and divide it by the number of resistors which are connected in parallel but you do this method only when they are equal in values so right now there were three so my answer was r upon three so if i have n resistors parallel here here i have n resistors parallel so what would be the parallel net resistance r upon n but this r upon n is connected in series with this resistor capital r so total resistance is r which is in series with r upon n so the answer is this so what is the value of current net voltage upon r plus r upon n this is how we take currents and voltages in series and parallel.